Hi, this is a collaboration video with Jay from Flipping Drawers. So he picked out a furniture for me and I picked out a piece for him. So uh, we'll see how this goes. I'm really outside my comfort zone, but I think this will turn out good. So here we have it. This is the furniture that Jay picked out for me. I mean, um, it's a beautiful piece, but the green paint gotta go. So I think the hardest part of this project will be to remove the green paint. Uh, that's going to be a real challenge. And here we have a short video message from Jay. Hi Anders, I just wanted to say thank you for the table that you picked for me. It's uh, very interesting. I've never actually worked on anything like it, so I'm excited to see what I can do with it. And good luck with your project, because you will definitely need a lot of luck. So the first thing I did was to remove the knobs. I thought they were screwed in, but it seems like they are just um, glued or something. As you can see, I, I damaged the veneer when I pulled out one of the knobs, so I have to fix that later. I think the scraping tool is great for this, uh, especially for the, um, the flat surfaces. But I'm not really <laughs> looking forward to the legs, the curved legs. That will be a real challenge. I think the base with the legs are solid wood. I don't know what kind of wood it is. Uh, and the top and sides and uh, front of the drawers are uh, oak veneer, I think. We'll see. So the top that I think is oak veneer had some um, veneer damage, um, so I have to find a way to fix that. So I think this is enough scraping for the top 
and the rest I will uh, remove with the orbital sander later on. And here you also see the veneer damage. Alright, time for the legs. I'm uh, not looking forward to this. So I start with uh, some paint stripper uh, as a first step to see how much paint I can get rid of. A really common mistake when people apply stripper is that they don't uh, apply enough of it so you need a thick thick layer to to make it work depending on the temperature outside I usually let it sit for like 15 to 20 minutes Here I use steel wool to remove the paint and actually it works really well. And this part of the restoration is really really messy, but, but it's worth it, I promise. To remove the leftovers from the stripper, uh, use steel wool and mineral spirits. That will do the job. After removing most of the paint, I can see this is uh, oak veneer for sure. So I think this will turn out great when I have sanded it and uh, added stain to it. Um, so uh, I'm looking forward to this. And this is how it looks after the stripping part, uh, and I think it turned out really good. The next part will be sanding, and I start with the legs. So, actually, Jay gave me some really good advice 
and how to sand turned legs. Uh, so I bought a flexible kind of sandpaper. So that turned out really good. This part of the restoration was definitely the most time consuming. I mean, removing all the paint from the legs and also the stain. So uh, I think I spent like five, six hours on these legs. It's crazy. So after working with those legs for hours, this flat top was like a dream to work with. So I did some gentle sanding with uh, 220 to 20 grit sandpaper. Uh, because it's veneer, so you don't want to ruin it. After seeing how great the wood turned out after the sanding and stripping part, I decided not to stain it. Instead I think I just uh, will add some uh, satin spray lacquer to it, that will be enough. But first, I have to deal with the veneer damage on the front of the drawer. And here I'm using some wood filler and removing the excess. And after it dries, I think it takes like uh, one hour for it to dry you can sand it like it's uh, wood, so I really like this stuff. Here I am mixing some uh, paint to um find a match for the the wood the wood grain and color of the wood so this can be a bit tricky So it will not be perfect, but I think this this looks good. Remember the veneer damage that I also had on the top? My initial thought was to do a similar job with um, a wood filler, but then I decided to do a trim instead. So um, here's what I did. So I tried to find the, the trim in uh, oak quality, but they only had it in pine. So my plan here was to um, stain it instead in a darker color for the contrast. And I think it turned out really good. So um, here I'm gluing it to the top. And um, I think this was a really good solution for the problem.
And here are the knobs that I bought, the new knobs. They are in antique brass. I also got some um, flat washer that I sprayed uh, with some similar brashes color to match the knobs. And here I apply some of the um, the the paint to match the the flat washer even more. <laughs> 